I'm Jo Whipple, travel enthusiast, wine and culinary explorer, and adventure seeker. Join me on this beautiful trek along the California Highway 1 Discovery Route as we journey down California's breathtaking Central Coast. It's 101 miles of fun where 10 destinations make for one fantastic vacation. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Stewardship travel, you ask. Stewardship travel is about helping you connect to the people and places you visit. It's also how you can learn more, care for, and have more fun on vacation. There are plenty of stewardship activities along the California Highway 1 Discovery Route, from contributing to a historical monument to getting down and dirty with Mother Nature. Today, we're going to share some of them with you. This is Stewardship Travel. I'm here with Diane Strachan, creator and director of Stewardship Travel. She and her team have created an amazing program. Will you show it to us? Yes, let's walk around. Okay, come on, let's go. Well, I just want to say that it's not a volunteer working vacation. You just add an hour or two to your spa retreat, to your wine tasting, and it adds more meaning and depth, and you just feel good. I'm here with Patia Torrance. She's the town site restorator and mayor and just all around amazing, amazing woman. And this is Leonard. Hello, Leonard. Hi, He's Leonard. here to greet our guests that visit the old Edna town site here in the Edna Valley. Um, we love stewardship travel. We like to introduce our animals to all the families and children that arrive on a daily basis. It's been an amazing project. I started here in year 2000. It's now 2015. I've put a lot of years into restorating this town site. You know, many of the buildings have names on them and they have to do with the children that lived here almost 100 years ago. So yeah. Alma is one of the children. <laughs> I love it. And you just won an award, didn't you? I did. Uh, California Assembly for Restoration and um, Preserving This Town Site. What I love most is the visitors that come from all over the world that are looking for an experience such as this. Um, they kind of like this bird. <laughs> A little bit. And the goats and all the old buildings. There's something about this kind of place that um, leads people to a special place in their life. And I can see why. It really, this place is just off the chart. The history, the culture, the beauty. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. And thank you, Leonard. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for joining us here. Hope to see you all soon. We continue on our journey to San Simeon, California, a tiny town rich with stewardship opportunities. From touring Hearst Castle, to supporting the restoration of Piedras Blanca's lighthouse, to the awe-inspiring vista of the elephant seals. So many ways to make a difference and participate. Let's explore. I'm with Carolyn Skinder. She is in charge of the Coastal Discovery Center right here in San Simeon. Carolyn, there is so much going on here. Please tell me what is happening. There's a lot going on in one of the most beautiful parts of the world that you can come to visit. So this center was created with California State Parks to educate our public about the land-sea connection what is protected on land by the California State Parks, which is adjacent to what we protect at sea. Who I work for is the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, and that is basically your federal underwater park. <laughs> I love it. We've brought the underwater to you in some cases. We talk about everything from clean watersheds and the beautiful trout that inhabit those to protecting our marine mammals, like this animal right here. And what is that? That's the skull of a juvenile, not even an adult, elephant seal. Oh my gosh. And he's got really big teeth, which you can't see because the trunk is in the way. It's usually covering those teeth. 
So the important part, especially during this season, is to stay back 100 feet from any elephant seal that you see to protect yourself and them and your children. Yes, they are not to be played with, right? Not to be played with. <laughs> well, how much do they weigh? They can get up to 5,000 pounds. Oh my gosh, okay. So yes, please stay away from the elephant seals. Just view them from a distance, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Absolutely. Good, and you have lots of programs here for education and so that the public can really learn, including a junior ranger program. We do, we're all about education and we're all about helping young people become stewards for the land and the ocean. So the Junior Ranger Guide program is one fantastic way to do that. They have to earn a badge by completing the book and going through certain stages. And they can collect different badges from different state parks. And that is a program we very much promote. When we are, we have school groups, we have public groups, we have Saturday lectures. Mm -hmm. And when we're closed, there's a lot of beautiful signage. There's a mural out front where people can get to know about the species under the water right, right here at San Simeon Bay. And there's an app that goes with that, right? If you want to go tide pooling, there is a tide pool app put out by the National Marine Sanctuary and Octos. It's a collaboration again. There's a whale app, and if you get onto the National Marine Sanctuary site and the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary site, there's 14 of us throughout the country, then you can find various educational materials and apps to help you learn more about our incredible ocean. I love that. So if you would like to go tide pooling, or if you would like to bring your junior ranger here, or if you are just wanting to be a better steward to this land that we all live on, under sea and above, then come check out the Coastal Discovery. Center. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming. Today we have the incredible honor to be at Hearst Castle. This 165 room castle is just part of the 80,000 acres that is Hearst Ranch in San Simeon, California. I'm joined today by author, historian, Victoria Kastner, who has been with the castle since 1979. We're in front of Casa del Sol, the House of the Sun. Victoria, thank you so much for having us here. It's my pleasure. So this is the 150 year anniversary of the acquisition of this land by the Hearst family. And everything really is very similar to what it once was. And that is a commitment that the Hearst family has made to this property, right? When the, all of the other cities of coastal California grew and developed and turned into uh, metropolises, this place did not. Right. It remained what it always has been. Right. If W.R. Hearst came back today, it would be just as he left it. He would He would recognize it, and so would <laughs> Julia Morgan, that's right. Yeah, Julia Morgan. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. If you would like to learn more from Victoria, you can download the app that she wrote directed, narrated, created, and you can get it on iTunes or Google Play. And Victoria, thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. We're here in the Doge sitting room. I'm with Tracy McConnell, who is the project coordinator with the Friends of Hearst Castle. That's the nonprofit organization that helps to support the castle here. Thank you, Tracy, for having us. Well, thank you for having me. So you do education, you do preservation, and this is no small feat to maintain 25,000 artifacts, or at least have I, it on your drawing board, right? I have heard that the bill for what needs to be restored is 60 million. Wow, 60 million. You have a lot of different events throughout the year and fundraising opportunities. Tell us about some of those. Yeah, we raise funds for, for the, those art projects. We also raise funds so that we can bring local youth up here. In doing that, we will have membership where anyone can join. We have special events that anyone can buy tickets to. We have five big special events this year. Our most popular is Twilight on the Terrace, and that will be June 6th. And it's a fun event where the whole community is involved. You get to come up and taste beer and wine and food from all over the county. Right. And so if you would like to become a friend of Hearst Castle, you can do so by going to the website, friendsofhearstcastle.org, and just become a member. Thank you, Tracy. Yes, be a friend. Beach, right here in beautiful Cambria. 
one mile of pristine boardwalk that leads you right along the ocean front to this magical place. Look at that, absolutely spectacular. I'm here with Maria Stolo Benetti, General Manager of Stolo Family Vineyards right in Cambria. This is a very special property, Maria. Tell me about it. Sure. We are the only vineyard and winery here in Cambria. We're also one of the closest vineyards to the coast in California. That gives us the magnificent opportunity to create cool climate wines, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Syrah from such a unique location. We um, are also family-owned, boutique, and uh, pretty teeny tiny. <laughs> <laughs> and so also, you're part of the stewardship travel on the coast here, right? We partner with the Cayucas Abalone Farm, and we invite the guests out to our winery here and teach them all about what it's like to grow along the coast. And it is magnificent. <laughs> so thank you for having us. It is absolutely a pleasure. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Heading down the road to enjoy my wine on the Fiscalini Ranch. This 400-foot ridge boasts a dramatic ocean bluff that runs more than a mile along the shoreline. I love walking on the boardwalk or kicking back on one of the benches and enjoying nature's own reality show. There's so much to see on the ranch, even breathtaking views of migrating whales. This preserve didn't happen on its own. Like so many other majestic coastlines, it could have been developed. But thanks to the efforts of what is now Friends of the Fiscalini Ranch Preserve, it belongs to all of us forever. The ranch is open daily to the public, but remember, there's still work to do. You can contribute and join Friends of the Fiscalini Ranch Preserve and help enhance and protect this 437-acre jewel. Truly a sight to behold. Let's head to Cayucas last of the California beach towns. Oh, there is nothing like a little boogie boarding at sunset on Cayucas Beach. It is the best climb. You can help keep Cayucas beautiful by participating in a beach cleanup. Plus, you'll get a cool tote bag for your efforts. Grove. Oh my gosh, is this beautiful? Wow, the Elfin Forest in Los Osos Baywood Park with Ron Rasmussen. Ron, tell us what you do here. Well, I'm the chairperson of Small Wilderness Area Preservation, and we take care of the Elfin Forest. You do, and without you, this wouldn't be here, would it? That's correct. Our organization began with the goal of saving this Elfin Forest from development. That's other, right. People wanted to build houses here, oh, but that gosh. would not be good. Rose was one of the people who really did that, didn't she? Yes, she was instrumental in raising the funds from the community and from grants to actually buy this property. She used to invite potential donors down here to this grove, right. and they had have parties and music and have a good time. And at the end of that day, she would ask, how about pitching in to save the elfin forest? That's right, because it doesn't happen without those kinds of donations, right? That's correct. And that's why you are part of stewardship travel. That's correct. Yes, and lots of activity is available for folks that want to come and visit, right? Yes, we have uh, scheduled nature walks about twice a month. Mm -hmm. And if a group wants to have a special trip, they should give us a call and sure. we can talk about it. And otherwise, you can just come and visit, walk along the ADA boardwalk that goes all the way down. Yes, right? the park is open technically from dawn to dusk. Well, that's perfect. So we can catch you from dawn to dusk. But whatever you do, stewardship travel is a really vital part of saving these kinds of preserves. So come down, enjoy it, and just take a look around. Rocks and Spooner 
Traverse Cove, look at this place. If you've never been to the Central Coast, this is what you're missing. Scooters Cove has got to be one of the most majestic places you have ever seen in your entire life. Highway 1 Discovery Route is full of tide pools, but Scooters Cove especially. You have to check it out. I'm here with Tara Malzone. She's the executive director of the Central Coast Aquarium here in Avila. We're surrounded by all kinds of fish and inhabitants of our ocean. Tell us what's happening here. Here at the Central Coast Aquarium, um, our visitors will have a very unique experience when they come to our aquarium. We have all the local sea life and habitats uh, represented here in our aquarium and uh, visitors can come in and experience looking at our ocean's uh, sea life up close and we actually have amazing touch tanks where you can get your hands wet and really experience uh, marine life. We, we find that um, with having each of the local habitats represented in all of the marine life that you would expect to see here in Avila Beach, our visitors really, they open their eyes. They're so surprised to see the diverse life that lives here right in, right in San Luis Obispo Bay. So if you want to be a part of marine stewardship, this is your place to come, the Central Coast Aquarium. And thank you, Tara, so much You're for so having welcome. us today. Thank you for being here. Beach, one of two different beaches you can actually bring your dog to, play in the surf, have fun in the sun. I mean, what more do you want? I'm here in Avila Beach with Katie Manley, and she is on the board of the Avila Beach Tourism Alliance, and we are picking up trash. Doesn't sound very exciting, but actually it's a really special activity that happens here. Tell us about it. Exactly. We started this, one of our stewardship activities is picking up trash. You can get these at uh, the local lodging properties, um, and inside is a pair of gloves, a bag, and then um, a little bit about what you're picking up, so we can get some research on that. And then once you do pick up the trash, you, can, you get your tote bag. So you actually get a tote bag for doing good. Exactly. So it connects the traveler in a more meaningful way to Avila Beach. Right. Um, makes them want to come back, a little bit of feel good, doing good while you're on vacation. All right, well thank you for showing us this. And when you come to Avila, be sure to get your tote bag, pick up some trash. Let's keep this place beautiful, all right? That's right. We're out of here. Thank you. Thanks. This Oceano Depot created the building blocks for what is now the city of Oceano. Come on in, let's check it out. We're here with Linda Austin. She's the president of the Oceano Depot Association. Linda, this building is just teeming with history. Tell us about it. Well, it all started with the coming of the railroad in the uh, late 1890s that put Oceano on the map. This depot served from 1904 to 1973. It's probably the most important building in the South County. It served all the freight, passenger and uh, telegraph service until it was closed in, in the 70s due to the, the advent of the trucking industry and the automobiles. So um, we we're fortunate enough to have this depot preserved and moved to this location for a museum and community center. That's right, because the city does not support this, correct? No, this is an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization that runs and manages the Oceano Depot. It's really special. There's nothing like There's this. There's nothing like it. The other stations you'll see that have been preserved around California, most of them have been converted into um, offices or other adventures where they just look like a depot on the outside and this is one of the last really original standing depots where you can really see exactly and that's why you are part of stewardship travel that's correct? right there's many ways to donate here and we love to have people come learn the history donate and really get to see what a real old time station is like that's right so come and enjoy the history in this one of a kind station donate enjoy it thank you so thank much you so for much having for us coming. linda yes thank you Oh my gosh, so amazing. Just back from Oso Flaco Lake here in Oceano State Dunes. There's so much to do here. You can ride your bike on the boardwalk, hop in a kayak, paddle around, have a picnic with your family. Believe me, whatever you choose to do, it's gonna be full of memories. Let's go do some more.
One of the founding fathers of stewardship travel was the late Mr. Huell Hauser. On his show, California Gold, Huell took us on magical road trips around the state, teaching us the history and importance of conservation and preservation. He came into our living rooms like a folksy old friend. How many times did I think to myself, gosh, look at the wonder of it all. Stewardship travel isn't a working vacation. It's taking an hour or two to make a difference to this beautiful land. Adding stewardship to your travels gives a deeper meaning to your vacation and a rewarding experience that you will forever cherish. Explore the 10 destinations along the California Highway 1 Discovery Route and tell us what stewardship travel adventures you find. Together, we can make a difference. One activity, one destination, one discovery at a time. To borrow that favorite phrase from Mr. Huell Hauser, that's amazing.